According to a new report, homelessness has gone down slightly in Clark County, though a number of factors are driving that number. It's not a trend just yet, but as Fox 12's Carly Olson reports, local organizations are working to get there. A new report from the community nonprofit Council for the Homeless shows a decrease in homelessness in Clark County over the past couple of years, but some camps are still visible, like this one on West 11th and Jefferson Street, and some local service providers say the work is just getting started. I'm surprised. Renee Stevens is the executive director of decades-old Vancouver Shelter Open House Ministries. She says recently the demand on their shelter services has increased dramatically. We have had over 99 people on a wait list and we've had to close our wait list three different times over the year because it's just there's been too many people on it, the family specifically. That's why she was surprised to see the results of the Council for the Homeless's 2023 Homeless Crisis Response System report, which showed a 3% decrease across Clark County between 2022 and 2023 and a 17% decrease in those identifying as newly homeless. We did see a few um, decreases in specific populations. Chief Operating Officer Sunny Wonder tells me those specific populations are veterans and youths as the system's health Helping them are working particularly well. Specifically thinking of veteran homelessness, there has been a focus with that to provide vouchers, for example. So through the VA that there are, you know, it is an effort to get folks in veterans into housing, specifically around youth homelessness. We've had a centralized funding um, approach. Many folks that are working in the homeless response system are able to plug in to access those dollars. The council will use this data to build on their successes over the last year year and they hope to see similar reports in the future. One year is not a trend and that we just recognize that within that it is there's some exciting things that perhaps there are elements of this that we're getting right. Open House Ministries has increased their staffing amid the high demand and they're opening a 30 unit affordable housing complex at the end of the month. Stevens says high rent is one of the biggest drivers behind their numbers right now and she hopes that will be a focus in the coming days along with making sure there are options for everyone. Because not everybody is a one size fits all for, for shelter or for housing and so I think we can't just be moving in one direction, we need to be thinking outside of the box. Carly Olson, Fox 12, Oregon.